Well, a very good afternoon to you. Thanks for clicking on to the bank holiday edition of Vogan's Views in Europe. It certainly has been a very chilly weekend indeed. Sp plenty of reports of some snow even down the low levels across parts of Scotland. Check out my blog. You can see a photograph of a snow-covered A826 between Aberfeldy and Creef in Perthshire. And uh, even the second lowest truck temperature value uh, uh, when I was driving through the southern uplands there on Saturday, the, the value hit minus 6, which is 21 in Fahrenheit. That, like I say, is the second lowest value I've seen all year, beaten only by a minus 7 back during the winter time. So it just shows you how significantly cold we've seen over the past few days. Very, very unusual, not unheard of by any means for the early part of May. But it's certainly not something you see every day. Those type of values, frost, widespread, snow down the low levels, even some snow uh, reports from Edinburgh and uh, even across this area. Yesterday afternoon, I seen some sleet hitting this window here in my attic. So certainly been chilly, all thanks to a very deep area of troughiness. Drawn in Arctic air from the north, from the northern half of Scandinavia, pushing across the British Isles. And we have been shivering in daytime temperatures that have been colder than what we've seen back in Christmas Day, would you believe? So amazing stuff indeed. This upcoming seven days, going to see more unsettled conditions, milder conditions working in uh, from a southwesterly direction in off the Atlantic. We've got two systems, folks, that's going to track across the British Isles, pulling in heavy rain, a, a strong gusty winds. That will leave us. We're going to be seeing the drying take place before another system works in by Thursday. So today we're going to see this this system here work its way into the British Isles, producing very heavy rain across the Republic, in the northern half of Northern Ireland, and across central portions of the British Isles. I'm concerned about an area from generally from the South Midlands through Wales in, in particular, up through Cumbria, Lancashire, Northumberland and into the Fries and Galloway and the Scottish borders we could be seeing perhaps one inch of rain over the next 24 hours. Now let's skip through the sequence here and let's see what takes place. This is the, the surface pressure chart of the GFS using the Meteor Group website. You notice the track here across the northern half of Ireland and in through Scotland. You can see that here. What we will see is drying over uh, a, a generally a dry day across the far north of Scotland and the far south of England. The bulk of the rain across Ireland, Northern Ireland and central portions of the British Isles. Let's have a quick look at the, the precipitation forecast. Skip back to about six hours from now and see what takes place here. The bulk of the rains working through the central portions of the British Isles. By 12 hours from now, that rain will push through could have some localised flooding potential, strong gusty winds as well associated with the front, but that front will push through by 24 hours from now, you see what's taking place here, the front itself, the tra the, the centre of circulation here over Scotland, we're going to be seeing the, the front itself push out into the North Sea, but there's a bending of the front across the north and the south, that will indicate rains persistent over the south and north during the day on Tuesday. Tuesday and as well as that into Wednesday as well. Notice how it's dry generally from the central belt down through the, the south midlands of England as well. The rain will linger over the far south and the far north in between good decent spells of sunshine, temperatures 12 to 14 and light winds will make it feel quite comfortable indeed. By th at 36 hours the rains will linger over the south and the north. I don't believe we're going to see an awful lot in the way of rain across Scotland and the central portions of the British Isles during the day. Tuesday, by 48 hours, you can see here the lingering of the rain. There's a bit of uncertainty as to how much that rain will spread northwards, whether we're going to see that through Birmingham or not, whether we're going to see it down towards the central belt or not, is a little uncertain at this time. Let's skip through the 66 hours and you can see what's taking place. Here's the second pulse of rain working its way in. We need to watch. I'm going to skip through and back to the pressure chart here 
And what we're watching for is, notice the track here. There's the initial system working its way northwards uh, on the west side of Scandinavia. But here's the secondary low here. Notice the track is further southwards. That will push through areas that have already seen flooding take place. 72 hours, it's working through Wales. Need to watch out for some very heavy rain across the very areas that seen flooding take place across the southwest, Devon, Cornwall, Somerset, Dorset into the south and home country uh, counties, in through parts of Wales as well. We could be seeing very strong winds, very heavy rain, one to two inches of rain as well associated with the centre. 78 hours is working its way towards the North Sea, and that will be uh, by Friday. We should be starting to see high pressure settle in for the upcoming weekend. But let's skip through uh, the ECMWF. This is the... Uh, the um, the upper level chart and you can see here the heat remaining over central e eastern and southeastern parts of Europe we've got the trough over the northwest you don't see much in the way here across Spain at the moment but that will change as I skip through the sequence and through the upcoming week you can see here the pressure starting to build you start to see the the warmth pushing and building over the northwest of Africa that will work its way up through Spain by Thursday, look at the height starting to rise over the southwest of Europe. By Friday, and particularly in the Saturday, you notice here the reds really surging up through Spain. I'm expecting to see temperatures rise to 100 Fahrenheit, which is 37, 38 Celsius by the weekend from Seville up through uh, Madrid and even pushing into the northern half of Spain. At the same time, folks, we've got another trough push of cool air coming down through Scotland in the north of England. And, of course, with the surge of really blowtorch warmth over Spain, Portugal, up into the south and central parts of France, we need to watch out here for big rains developing, perhaps very stormy conditions, as we see a very powerful jet stream rip in between this very cool air with very hot air and that could set up a very very potent weekend of weather across parts of Europe as well. You notice here this, the warmth surge and of course the deflection of that heat from Spain across the central parts of Europe as well as the trough uh, puts pressure on that heat, pushes it eastwards. It's got nowhere to go because of that blocking area of trophiness to the north over the UK and Ireland. That will push heat into eastern parts of Europe, resurge that heat, and already we've got warm conditions. So we've got very con uh, warm conditions lingering over eastern parts of Europe. That heat's going nowhere. But we're going to be watching all eyes on a heat wave across parts of Iberia and the southern France over the course of the upcoming weekend. So very unsettled weather indeed over the course of the next 7 to 10 days. I don't unfortunately see that ridge pushing into Ireland and the UK anytime soon. So we're going to have to wait and uh, be contented with this unsettled wet windy pattern across the northwest of Europe. Keep checking back and I'll keep you up to date. Have a terrific bank holiday weekend folks. Bye bye.